My name's Ruth Portis, and I've actually been at the lab off and on for, for a long time. The first time I was at the lab was in the early 70s. I arrived in about 1973, and I was in what was then the computing department. And we had our offices in one of the small houses in the, in the village at Fermilab, and the computer itself was in another small house separated by a parking lot. We really found it difficult in the winter or in the rainy season. We had to put on our boots, trudge across the mud. So you can imagine that we were really looking forward to the time when the high rise was being finished being built and the first computer would move in there. So we went up to the high rise and we found that uh, while the furniture for the computer, the card readers, the big printers with the fan-folded Constantina-style large paper uh, had been provided and the large paper was really useful because we, once it had been finished with, we used to turn it over and make huge, huge long strings of paper dolls for various uh, occasions and festivities. While there was furniture for the computer, we found that there was no furniture for the programmers or the user support staff. Well, we were not going to be beaten by the system, as it were, so we decided that we would sit on the carpet, which was very like the carpets you have today, and do our user support there and help the physicists. So we used to sit on the floor and we used to look up at them as they came to visit us. And I must say, if you look around today, things have really changed from that time.